Hello, this is Federico with Garza Web Design, and today I would like to show the folks at Grace how to edit blocks on their web page. So, um, a lot of these, a lot of the content on the web pages are going to be in block form. And what I'd like to do is just show them how to access this and edit it. In order to gain access to the blocks, on the upper on the upper part of the website you'll see this admin menu go ahead and click edit and then as you click edit you see all these pencil icons that appear and and this will allow you to edit these blocks we're going to go ahead and click on one of those so you click that and there's a drop down that appears click edit Hmm. Here's something that should not be happening. Um, you can see the space right here. And it looks like I had accidentally hit enter or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this space. To do that, just click before the U and oh, control Z is your friend. Control Z uh, gets rid of that space. Um, it looks like we're going to go ahead and let's try it again. So I'm going to hit backspace. And I'm going to change this to an H2 setting. And we're going to set that there. So what I did is I went ahead and changed it to a header 2 setting from header 4. And you can text align this any way you want using these buttons here I went ahead and text aligned up left and let's see what happens so we're gonna hit save if you're ever not sure whether or not you really want to save it you could always create a, a revision here and you can revert back if for some reason you make a bad mistake it looks okay there let me right click hit inspect element yep and that works Okay, but that's not what we came into here to do. So what we want to do is we want to edit this again. And let's go ahead and create the relevant Emily Donovan a link. So we're going to go ahead and put a link in here. So I'm going to highlight this word that we want to link. So you can, there'll be a clickable link to another page. You're going to click this link icon. Notice this. So I highlighted this. You hover over these things and it kind of tells you what this is. There are two link icons. This one you can insert links referencing files that you've already uploaded to the server. We normally don't use that. So we're going to click the link here. And what's the link going to be? We want to link it to the leadership page. So there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the whole thing. Control C to copy. Control V to paste or Command V if you're using a, uh, a Mac product. And then the title here is going to be the name of the person or whatever you're referencing. The Revlin reference. Emily. That's it. Now here you can do uh, classes. So if you want this to be a button, you would type GWD button. Of course, you don't want a button in the middle of a sentence. If you are referencing a website that or a web page that's not on this website, let's say you're going to Google.com, you can click open a new window and then it just opens up in a new tab. And that's pretty much it. You can hit save. And notice how now we've got a, a link there. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and upload an image. What we would do is we just click to where we want the image to be. So let's say we wanted the right hand side. Doesn't matter, you don't click on the right, you go ahead and just click at the beginning of the sentence. And then 
notice this icon image right here. You can, you can insert an image that you already have on the website. You can just upload a new image. I like to upload a new image. So we're going to browse. Uh, let's go ahead and do the an optimized priest website, uh, priest image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this image here. Hit open. Okay. And I'm going to type an alternative text. It's always important to type an accurate alternative text. It's always tempting for me to be just uh, lazy and just put just something tiny. But if there's anybody that is blind, there's software available that when they hover over the image, the computer will read out whatever we type here. So for, for the American Disabilities Act, ADA, uh, we like to go ahead and be verbose here. We're going to align this right and click Save. Now, what you see here is not always what you get. So it's a WYSIWYG editor, but it's not always accurate. But we're not going to worry about that for right now. There it is. And let's say we want this image to be clickable. So when you have this, when you click the image, it'll go to the web page featuring this priest. So we're going to right click it. Actually, we're just going to left click it and we're going to click the link icon. Oh, what was that again? Our leadership. I'm going to highlight this. Control C or Command V if you're on a Apple. There we are. Control V. And then the title. There we are. Hit save. And that should be a clickable link now. We're going to hit save here. And there we are. So you can see when you click this new link we created, it goes right to here. When you click the picture, it goes right to there. So that's how you do that. What we're going to do is we're going to backtrack on the image change at least. One thing I want to show you before we do the backtrack, you can, you can underline, you can italicize words, you can bold them, you can do a strike through, you can create, you know, if you're into math, you can create, uh, or if you're using references, you can create superscript, subscript, all that. And if you don't like what you did here, you can always just use this remove format. So go ahead and hover over these, these experiment and see how it works. And I think you'll be all right. Oh, let me get rid of this. So to get rid of this, we're going to click on it. And then you can just hit the delete key on your keyboard or there's a delete a cut right here. So I just I pressed on the delete key on my keyboard. And what is this here? I don't like the spacing here, so I'm going to backspace. And there we are. Everything looks good. We'll hit save. And there we are. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us, and we'd be happy to help you. This is Federico from Garza Web Design, and you have a great day.